hello wonderful people welcome back to my channel and um, if this is your first time of stopping by on my channel welcome and if you have not subscribed please do so and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos so in today's tutorial as the title has shown we are drafting a wrap dress pattern okay so this is a very easy tutorial we're going to draft the pattern first and then on another video i will show you how to cut it out on your fabric and how to sew it okay so the first thing as usual we get our pattern paper now i'm gonna go over the measurements that you need you need your shoulder measurement your bust measurement your waist measurement your hip measurement and also the length of the dress um, that you're going to draft okay so the first thing we're going to do draw a guideline as usual at the beginning of the pattern paper from there we are going to measure our chest line mine is nine inches then the shoulder to waist measurement for me mine is a 16 inches then shoulder to the hip um, measurement that is a 24 for me but for some people it can be 25 and then the length of the dress all right so i am working with the length of uh, 42 inches so this is going to be just a little bit uh, uh below the knee all right so but you can make this uh, to be shorter or you can make it longer the concept is all the same now this um this is going to be a wrap dress so the front is going to have an overlap so i am drafting the back piece first so the back piece is going to be cut on fold all right so after i draft the back piece then i'm going to use it to uh, cut out the front piece okay so let's go ahead and draw out the lines of all the vertical uh, markings that we made so now you draw out the line for the hip line and then go ahead and level it your chest line the waistline your hip line and also the hem line or your the length of the dress so after we you have done that the next thing that we're going to do is to go back on the at the beginning of the uh, pattern paper then you divide your shoulder by two so mine is 16 inches i divide that by two i get uh, eight inches and i place that mark there plus half inch and i also place the same measurements on the chest line then i connect both lines together like this all right now the next thing is to measure the width of the neckline and i am working with a weight of uh, four inches and then since this is the back, the length is um, uh, one and a half inches. And then you go ahead and connect your neckline. So I, I just use my free hand. I can't find my, um, I can't find my French curve. Okay. So after that, you come down by one inch at the end of the shoulder line. So we can create the shoulder slant just like I'm doing here. So basically we are drafting a basic uh, dress. So I have done this in my previous uh, tutorials before. So you, uh, you, know, you should be familiar with that by now. So after that, you get the midpoint of the um, shoulder line. That's where we're going to create the armhole. Then go ahead and divide your bust measurement by 4 plus uh, 1 inch uh, seam allowance. And then you place it on the chest line. Then you connect your um, armhole like this. Just like I'm showing you right here. Again, I don't have my, um, my French curve. So if you have it, you use it you know, to create a better armhole curve. All right. So now after that, you continue with the measurements. So on the waistline, divide your waist measurement by four again. And uh, 
for me that is 34 divided by 4 I have 8 and a half inches then I add 1 inch to that measurement for the dot allowance and also another 1 inch for the same allowance okay so um, we'll be having a waist that for this dress all right so don't forget to add uh, back the one inch for the dot so that when you sew your your dress the lines will all match together okay so now on the hip line you divide your hip by four and then add one inch as same allowance all right so for my hip measurement is 44 divide that by four i have 11 plus one inch to my allowance making it 12. now on the hem line if you want an a line uh, uh, dress you just add three inches or four inches on the hem at the hem line and connect all the lines together but i for the purpose of this tutorial i am i want a pencil um a pencil dress so you be minusing one inch from your hip measurement and place that at the hemline after that you go ahead and connect all your lines together just like I'm showing you here Okay, after you've connected all your points together, uh, we're going to add the waist dart for the uh, back bodice. Now you're going to get your nipple to nipple measurement and divide that into two. For mine, that's eight, eight inches and divide that into two, I have four inches. So I place that on my, um, the waist measurement on my waistline and also the chest line then I go I went ahead and uh, got my bust points that's your shoulder to your bust point so this will guide me on where to end my dart for the back so the dart for the back usually ends at um, one inch above the bust point okay so don't forget the bust the that will start at one inch above the bust point just like i'm showing you here then on the waistline you go ahead and take half inch on both sides of the nipple to nipple line so that means we're taking one inch uh, that for the waist that's why i added one inch extra um, on the side seam so now now the hip line come up by two inches okay so that's where our dart will end all right so don't forget it you start the dart starts one inch above the bust point and it ends two inches above the hip line so you just go ahead and connect all the lines just like i'm showing you here So that's it. Um, basically, the uh, the back uh, the back uh, bodice is ready. As you can see, it was so easy to draft. And of course, if you didn't understand anything, please don't hesitate to ask me a question in the comment section below. So you just go ahead and cut the um, and cut the piece out. So, like I said earlier, the this is the back uh, dress and it will be cut on fold when we're ready to um, cut this out on our fabric. All right.
okay so this is what it looks like just a regular basic uh, dresser block okay so now we are ready to draft the front so you're going to get another pattern paper so we'll be using the back to cut the front however we are we have an the, the front is going to have an overlap and that is where we'll be attaching the tie to create the overlap if um the wrap dress effect the first thing that you're going to do at the beginning of your pattern paper you will mark out five inches so it depends on how open you want your wrap um, dress to be you can use four inches six inches or four and a half it totally depends on you but uh, i am using five inches so you're going to mark that out and you use your yardstick and connect all the lines so you're going to mark it from shoulder down to your hemline just like i'm showing you right here so after you've marked it out you're going to place the back uh, bodice so your measurements will start from after that five inches mark that we made okay so that is where our overlap will be all right so you're just going to place your the back bodies make sure everything aligns properly so that you can trace it out So you can use your ruler to make sure they align properly so you won't have problem when um when you cut out your pattern Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and trace it out so take your time and you know place the pattern correctly then you go ahead and trace it out also making note of where your waistline begins and end also your hip line your chest line and also your bust line So when you get to the neckline, you just trace your shoulder line, but not the neckline. We're not going to be creating the same neckline for the back, for the front. I hope that makes sense. So the, like I said, the front is going to have an overlap. So which means the front neckline is going to be open. All right. So you understand what I'm doing as we go along so after you've uh, traced the lines you just remove the pattern and then you go ahead and draw in your waistline then your hip line and then your chest line as well as the bust point line and then you go ahead and label them okay so after you've uh, um, traced out your line we are going to add uh, that as well for the front so you get your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two so you're going to place that measurement on the bust line the waistline and also the hip line then you go ahead and use your yardstick and connect all the points together so um, for the front that it come the, it starts uh, one inch below the bust point line and also ends two inches above the um, hip line then on the waistline we also take out half inch on both sides 
and then you go ahead and connect all the lines together. Okay, so the dart is ready. Now the next thing we're going to do is to create the overlap um, line for this dress. So I'm just going to extend the waistline. So now for the overlap, if you want yours to end below your underbust, you just have to measure your shoulder to your underbust area and then you also extend that line just like I did for the waistline. So, um, for some people they can they their overlap goes all the way to the waist but i don't want mine to start from the waist so i'm going to come up by two inches from the waistline where i'm putting my tape right here so you go up by two inches like i said this is totally optional you can just decide to create a slant line all the way to the uh, waistline Right, so after that on the shoulder line you measure down six inches so this is not uh, it's not standard it's you know, the six inches um, is to to mark where your overlap will end on the bust area that's how much you want your cleavage to show all right if you want it to be down further you can do that you can do eight inches or seven inches it depends on how you know open your want your cleave cleavage area to be so after that you just you take your ruler and uh, draw a slant line or a curve line just like i did down to the two inches above the waist line okay so this this is now our neckline for the um, for the front uh, bodies. So now on the hemline, you will come in by four inches or three inches or two inches. All right. So now this is if you want to create a curve. Or, and make your dress just like the one you saw on the thumbnail all right but if you don't want that once you create your neckline you're good to go you can just cut out your pattern and you're ready to you know cut it on your fabric but i want mine to be exactly like the picture on the thumbnail so what i did on the hemline you come in by four i came in by four inches all right and then i use my hip curve ruler and i'm going to connect that line to the four inches mark if you want to make it straight you can just use your yardstick and connect it to your waistline just like i'm showing you here but i'm using the hip curve to connect it so this is the design that i want to be in on the dress for the front all right so that's just what I did here. I hope you can see and I hope you understood what I did here. Again, if you don't want to have that curve effect, like have an opening in the front, you can, after you've drawn your neckline, all you do is just cut out the pattern and you're good to go. But if you want to create it exactly like the picture on the thumbnail, you're going to come in by four inches on the hemline and then you use your hip curve and connect that that uh, four inches line all the way to the waist area just like i did here all right so now the pattern is ready to be cut out So this is what it looks like as you can see we have that slant effect on, on the front when you place the the two pieces together so remember for the front we'll cut two pieces one for the right side and one for the um for the left side so that when we add the tie it will be tied together on in the on the front 
but the back piece is just one piece you're going to be cutting that on full so you're going to understand better when i cut it on the fabric so um basically this is the end of the tutorial you can see i put uh, the back pieces and the front pieces together and this is what it looks like i'm sorry i don't know what it's looking like this but it was supposed to show better but um I hope you guys are able to understand the concept of how to draft this pattern so like i said i'll be using this to cut out and sew a dress in my next video so if this is your first time please do subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload that video like share and comment and i will see you on my next video bye bye